We put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today from the stockswish.com. Please welcome Melissa Armo. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Let me know that you hear me. Can everybody hear me? Good afternoon. Let me know that you see the slide. Can you see the green slide here? Okay, great, wonderful, welcome. My name is Melissa Armel and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh and I, I day trade. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about my day trading method. Hello. And I'm specifically gonna to talk to you today about uh, the system that I do that I, I personally created which focuses on stocks that are gapping. And my system has a high win ratio and, and I'm going to show you the trades for the last seven weeks. I was on vacation last week, so I was off, so I don't have any from last week. However, I'm going to discuss the importance really of being able to consistently make money in the market. I think that if you've ever traded before and some of you might, some of you might not, you know that it is possible to, to make money in the market. But one of the things that traders struggle with is the consistency level. And I think that there's some very important things that people miss with that, which we're going to talk about today. So if you have questions, you can write it in the room. I'll see them as we go along. And if you want to reach out to me after the webinar, you can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com or go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype and follow me at any one of these places. So if you've been thinking about trading or maybe if you're trading now and not having success ask yourself why you're not successful and if you've been thinking about trading or you have never traded then i'm going to tell you something that's very very important which is that having one focus works okay there are so many i mean a ridiculous amount of trading systems and strategies out there that it's almost overwhelming and I'm talking from experience because I know, because I personally, when I started out and wanted to make money trading, which was like the end of 2008, was trying to figure out what to do myself. And I had a hard time. <clears throat> and that's why I ended up creating my own system. But you really kind of got to sift through the stuff that's out there. And I think that many, many people jump around from thing to thing to thing. And they never stick with one thing. And then they never get good at it. And then they never make any money and then they wonder why and I'm telling you I'm telling you why because you've got to find one thing and you've got to stick with it uh, obviously the thing has to work okay so if you're trading now and you're making money but maybe not making enough okay maybe the system or strategy you're doing is not that profitable and one of the things that I do that I'm very good at, which we're going to discuss, like I said today, specifically what I do, is I like to short. So not only do I have one, one focus as far as the strategy, but I have a focus where, where I like to short, okay? So I focus really on one direction. So we're going to discuss today how to make money with one system and in one direction and why it's advantageous. And the reason it's advantageous is because you get good practice. It's practice, 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 practice. When you were little, okay, and you were not even walking and you were crawling and then you learned how to walk and then you learned how to ride a bike or play an instrument, how did you get good at any of those things? practice doing it over and over and over and over and over again so how we think how we act as human beings now as adults and, and learning something and getting good at it it's very very much like when we were young when we were children and how do you get good at something when you're small um, like I said even a sport okay like if you would play a sport my father likes to golf my father my father's golf is up and down. If he has a lot of time to golf one summer, he, he has, you know, he, has, he's, he does great. He wins, um, he wins the tournaments and all kinds of things. But if he's busy with work and he can't golf that much, he doesn't tend to do as well. So with golfing, the more he golfs, the better he is, okay? It's very similar to trading, but it's not just trading in general. It's the idea of being very focused on one trading strategy 
And like I said, really in one direction, which makes a huge, huge difference in how well you do or not, okay? So why short? Why would you want to short? Well, this, like I said, is my focus. Now, what is shorting? Stocks move lower when selling action or shorting action comes into the stock. The price is driven down, and if you short before the price drops, then you can make money. One of the best reasons to short as a trader is that you can make money very quickly, which I like to do, okay? This is my personality. I like to be in and out of trades quick, okay, fast. So when something sells off, the moves tend to go fast. I focus on the period between 9.30 and 10 a.m. when I trade. So another great reason is that very often the downward moves happen in a big, big way, which I'm going to show you some examples here today as well. And when panic comes into a stock, sometimes it looks like it has no end and it keeps dropping, okay? And you don't want to be on the long side of selling action. You want to be on the short side of a stock of selling off. So you don't buy the stock if it's dropping. You will short it. And as a trader, you can short it. Now, does everyone here know what a, what a short is? I don't know everybody here has different, different experience. Does anyone want me to go over what a short is? You can write in the room or if you, if you want to answer. Can you hear me? Does everyone know what a short is? Okay, okay, Elias says yes. Well, let's look at Target. This actually dropped today, okay? Target dropped today some more. This was a chart from Friday. I didn't put today's chart in it, but the stock broke this level in here today under 54. So this is, again, a good example of panic and short selling. So why would you want to short? Because what else are you going to do in this target? If you're going long, you won't make any money. And what's another good reason to short? The profits come very, very quickly in the target. Now, this would be as a swing trade or an option trade, and I did call an option this. I called a put. Because selling action, which, again, is panic action that comes into stock, can happen sometimes in a straight downward movement where it actually goes vertical. And do you see this? That's almost what's happened here. And I, like I said, I didn't put in today's chart. We can look at it when we're done if we have time. But it kept going down even today. So it's really, really nice, again, if you get good at looking at one direction because you will get used to seeing it. Like are you still, like I said, playing a sport or an instrument and being able to predict then selling action, which is what, what I do. Over here, you had selling action previously also in the target. This was back in January, and even back here, this is the end of last year in December, where the stock price dropped. So if you really go all the way up here from December, January, February, March, do you see how the stock price has collapsed? It was up at $77 at one point, and now it's in the low 50s, okay? So you see here how you can make money doing this. Here's another example of shorting, panic, selling action. This was a gap that happened on Friday. Big move that happened here. The stock actually opened and swooshed, which is something that I, I teach my traders that come and learn with me. But I want to show you also the follow through that the stock had today. Okay. So what is it that I do? I'm looking for stocks that are going to sell off when they gap, like the target, like the AFSI. Okay. So it's very, very important to be able to predict where the stock's going to go when you're taking a trade because it's the only way that you can make money and the reason i like this one directional bias to the downside is again the follow-through and the panic and the moves happen big and they happen fast as in these examples so it's about training your brain you're training 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 your brain in one direction it's like when you get an instinct okay it's it's almost when when I'm trading in the morning, and again, I'm trading in that period between 9.30 and 10, which I'll, the trade set up very quickly, it's instinct now because I've trained my brain over and over and over and over to see it, to see the patterns, to see the patterns of the chart when they're setting up, to see the, the price action, to see the weakness in the chart, to take the short. Now, trader, that is a question. 
The only way you can short is by buying options, puts on stocks. How do you short stocks? Well, you have to be able to have an account in order to short, which means you need a margin account you have to be able to day trade. So if you have a, an option account, you would, if you wanted to short the stock, you would buy a put, like you would buy a put in target. If you want to be able to actively day trade like I do, then you have to have an active day trading account set up at a broker where you can short. If you don't have that type of account now, then you would have to you'd have to you know fill out paperwork with that broker to turn it into a, an, a day trading account, or you would have to set up a new account at a new broker. You can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com for broker referrals for places that you can short. Okay, there are two different kinds of accounts you can open. One is a retail account. Well, you need a minimum of twenty five thousand to have a margin account to short to day trade actively or you can open up a proprietary day trading account where your minimum required is gonna be $2,500 in order to actively day trade. So it's two different types of accounts. The smaller one, you will get more leverage 10 to one. However, you will have a cap every day and you won't be able to do overnights in that type of account unless you have more money. Uh, do you have to find your locates first thing in the morning prior to market opening to be able to short the stocks you are considering? No. I do check if I have it, okay? So you have to check, but it's rare that I would have to do a locate. Usually if I don't have something, I email to see if I can get it. Usually I do get it, but I don't have to do that that often. You have to really have an account at a broker, whether it's a retail shop or a prop shop that has a lot of shorts. So I don't really do the locates. I just email and say, can you get me this one if I don't have it? But that's, to be honest with you, very, very rare. I, for the year, last however many years, I mean, I've been trading eight years now, I go to the places that mostly have shorts. So it's rare I have to do a locate. You can't really do a system where you're shorting if you have to request shorts, you know, three times a week. It's a pain in the butt and you don't always get them, okay? So that is something that you've got to you've got to trade at a place that has a good short list. And most brokers with active day traders, uh, professional traders or big traders, you know, have a big short list because traders like to short that really know how to trade well. OK. So you can email me if you want a referral for a broker. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, you're training your brain in one direction. OK. So you're training it and you're doing it over and over and over and over and over again. Um, I don't know who's, who's asking a question because I don't see your name, it's just a dot. What's your name there, Mr. or Mrs. Dot? I don't even know if you're a girl or a boy because you don't have a name in the thing. But um, email me at melissathestockswish.com and I'll refer you to broker. Okay? I don't know if it's a man or a woman. Um, John is saying Schwab almost always has plenty of stocks to short. There you go. Most of the big houses should, or you just change places. So making money consistently means you have to be good at predicting directional bias with accuracy. And whether you want to go short or long, you still have to be able to predict where it's going to go or you can't make any money. Many traders are fighting against each other for the money. Who will win? You or the other guy? Because to be honest with you, there is only one. It is a fight. It looks like this. This person wants the money. You want the money. What are you gonna do? Who's gonna get the money in the end? Only one person gets it. There's no, there's nothing that you're creating. We're not, you know, you're, you don't get up in the morning. When I get up in the morning, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not creating anything. The money's there. I'm pulling it out of the market, or I lose if I lose on the day. I'm taking it from someone else if I win which I often do, and that is what it is. So you have to understand that you're fighting against the other people in there. There's buyers and there's sellers. There's only gonna be one winner and you want it to be you. So there is a certain level of skill set that's required because if you're up against other people, you gotta be smart, you gotta be savvy. And I'm telling you, a, a key ingredient to it is really understanding and comprehending that being extremely good and having a focus on one system, one strategy, and even in one direction really does put you ahead of the pack of the people that, and there's so many of them that are trying to get the money. Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, 
on doing many, many different things, really you never get good at anything. And one of the reasons I'm successful is because I'm extremely good at predicting where stock will go when it gaps and more so in the downward direction. But every once in a while I will go long. But the reason I'm able to see even the bullish gaps well is because I've gotten good at shorting. But I still go to the short side first every day. So who will win? Again, this was clipped from last week. It was the target on Friday. It fell again today. Who is going to win in this? Who are the winners? Who's going to be right in target? The longs or the shorts? Because there are people that are trying to pick up the stock and buy it in here in this previous support. Back from 2014, 2012, it's come into this level. It's there right now, even in the close today. I quick looked at it before we got done, or before we started here. Um, who is going to be the one that gets it, that makes the money? The people that are going to buy it in here and pick it up in the previous support or the people that are shorting it here, are already short, that are trying to pull more out of it? I, my prediction is the shorts, okay? That's my prediction. But the bottom line is that this is how things go and why you have to have a method to determine what to do. And the method or system to determine what to do is not based on always buying support because it simply doesn't work all the time. Why? Why doesn't buying support work as a strategy consistently to make money? For the simple reason, and I don't know why traders don't get this in their heads, that there are too many support levels. So this is a support, 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 this was a support. Here's another support. How do you know, are any of these gonna hold? How do you know? There's many, many supports in Target. How can you predict which is gonna hold? So you can't, and that's the point. What I can predict to make money, and, and what you would learn from me, is when a gap happens, which is the gap here that happened in the Target, I know this is small, here, let me go back. Um, I can predict once the gap happens where it's going to go. And you use that information based on the rating in the gap. I have a system to rate it that will tell me if it's good, if it's going to keep going lower, or if it's long. So that's what I do. Because buying support does not work consistently as a strategy to make money. So it's the gap, and then that's, that's what I do. And like I said, I prefer to short. So shorting is hugely profitable, and it's one of the reasons I like it. The moves happen fast, they happen quick, and it's due to the panic. Because if you were long a stock, and you were in it, and you were actually long in it, and it starts to sell off, you will panic. You might panic because you're giving back profits, you might panic because you're down money, you might panic for lots of reasons. And again, the effect of panic in something like Target very often can be a vertical move down, which is great if you're in it in the right direction and not great if you're in it long. So how do I know how to read the panic before it comes into the stock and sells off? By reading the gap. This holds the key to predicting directional bias, which you can use to make money. And that is what I do. So what is a gap? For those of you that don't know, I'm going to describe this to you right now. Uh, this is Zoom Z. The stock closed here and then it gapped down. Boom. Okay, so the stock closed here the night before around 21 and then gapped down here to around 18 something. What did it do? It gapped down. Then it dropped and fell. So a gap is when something closes at one price at 4 o'clock and opens at another price the next day at 9.30. That's it. That's all a gap is. So you would see this in the pre-market or the post-market. Okay, what I do is look for institutional gaps. So what is an institutional gap? An institutional gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. It's called an institutional gap because institutional money, large professional traders and investors are making and creating the gap. Like this thing here in the Zoom Z, or even the Target where the stock gap down $3 overnight. And in the Target, it was like a $10 move down, okay? So in the case of a bullish gap, professionals are buying the stock. Therefore, the stock moves higher on the trading day. In the case of a bearish gap, professionals are shorting the stock and therefore the stock moves lower on the trading day, okay? In which case you want to be in it short, okay, if you're, if you're in it. Why are gaps significant? They help you to analyze a large time frame to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap. And that's how you, that's how you know whether to go long or short it. All large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders. 
They help you make entry decisions and exit decisions based on a small time frame, the one minute chart, which has a high degree of focus and accuracy. So using the daily chart to make the decisions for the stock pick allows for accuracy in the right direction. And using the one minute chart, which is how I take the entries, which we're gonna go over here, allows for good risk to reward trades with accuracy. So it's the accuracy by applying the same information that you're looking for in the, in the gap every day and in the setup, and you do it over and over and over again. And as I'm saying, I prefer to short. So getting back to, again, a common sense philosophy why to trade gaps. And why do they work? And why do they have big moves? Gaps are created with large institutional money. That is what makes the gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap. And then you confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and not only that conviction, that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. Gaps are an event and they create a sense of urgency. What's gonna happen? Is the stock gonna sell off? Is it gonna rally? What's it gonna do? Should I get out? Should I get in? Thus an action is being forced by participants in the stock. For example, if you were long something like Target and then it gapped down against you. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful because it has big moves because people see the panic and they're involved in the panic. They are the ones panicking, okay? So trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power money. You can't have moves in stocks like Target without huge, massive amounts of institutional money. Something would never go like this. I'm just gonna go back here quick. Something would never ever go like this. And I'm gonna go all the way back here to December from this point here to this within three months, okay? Without a huge, massive amount of money that's pushing the stock price down and basically selling out of it. And they are selling out of it because how do I know? The stock wasn't an uptrend. It's not anymore, but it was, okay? So huge, massive amounts of selling came in. People sold their long position and the stock's driving down. And it's institutional selling. And that's one of the reasons I, I called that so well to work, okay? Now, many, many people ask me about this because they say gap bills and this and that and the other thing. Is there more than one kind of gap to trade? In my mind, no. Not with a high degree of predictability. So my answer to this is no, because if you can't predict the direction a stock will go when it gaps, then you can't make any money with it, and therefore it, it, there's no play there, there's no reason to trade it, it's not good information, okay? You have to be able to accurately predict something if you want to trade it for profit. And if you can't do that, then there's no reason to trade it at all. So to me, the only gaps that are predictable to trade to make money consistently are institutional gaps. You really need high probability in order to make money trading. It doesn't matter whether you're swing trading, day trading, or, or you know, option trading. You need something with a high probability. So I created my own system, which is a 26 point gap rating system that gives me an edge because it reads the price of the gap and using technical analysis on an advanced level pinpoints which stock to trade that day and in what direction. And I'm extremely good at doing this, okay? I'm gonna show you the trades here in the last seven weeks and show you the accuracy rate I've had, but it's based on my system. It's based on the 26 points. Now today I did not trade. There was nothing that met my criteria. There was no gap that rated well today. I did call this morning TIF, T-I-F as a long, as a continuation gap. It, that was a bullish gap and it did work, but I didn't do it. Again, because I prefer to short, but some people did in the room. You know, again, the focus, focus, focus on the system. Here is a chart. This is back going back years now. 2012, someone emailed me the other day, uh, Rashid, I, th I think, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, about whether or not, you know, to use systems for swing trades or whatever. Here's a good example, okay? Pay had a gap that happened back here in 2012 Stock was here, was rallying up, was in an uptrend, boom, gap down. Area around here is around 40, 41-ish, okay? The stock has never gone over the high of this gap. That was in 2012, it's 2017. Now, I didn't look where this was today, but it's nowhere near this number. 
So you could have done this trade for a long, long time to the downside and made money doing it back and forth a million times, whether it was day trades or swing trades or even an option. So great example here of, again, the power of the gap that happened here and that has continued now for five years. These things can last for a long time, people. You never know. You have to keep looking at it and rating the gaps and you have to keep qualifying it. And that's what I do every morning. So the key for one individual like you, or even, even me, because I just trade you know, myself, I don't have a fund or anything. I'm not trading other people's money, just a singular account like you people. The key is to produce income de generation over and over, and you do that by chunking it out. I actually had estimated there was like 30 some weeks left in the year, but I counted them today. There's actually 40 more weeks left in the calendar year starting March 27th, which is next week after the class. My class is this weekend starting Sunday. If you made $1,000 a day on average trading between now and the end of 2017, you could still make $200,000 this year. Now, there are days that I make more than that because sometimes the stocks have big moves and I'm taking size in my trades. And I also do option trades too, here and there. So you could do the day trade options. But on average, you could still make over 200 grand a year, 200 grand a year, starting next week trading my system. This is not insane. It's the idea of being very good at doing one thing and then applying that information. It's about chunking it out. You will never get to any monetary goal you, you have, okay, unless you learn how to do it. And it is about the focus and it is about how to trade. It's it's how to think, like I showed you in the morning early, about the baby. The baby practices over and over and practice, 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 practice. So the baby gets to good at walking and crawling and, and then riding a bike, okay? And even if your goal is half this or only $500 a day, what would that mean? You could still make six figures a year between now and the end of the calendar year. So it's possible for you to make this kind of money. You still have plenty of time to do it, even though it's almost April, okay? It's just that many people are jump around so much, and they also don't do things that they're supposed to do or even that they say do. I have people that are in my trading room that have done my class that don't listen to what I say. I try to tell them not otherwise, but they want to do their own thing. There's nothing I can do. I mean, you really, really have to take this seriously if you want to achieve your goals. And, I, and I'm a goal-oriented person, but I'm even more, more so consciously aware of my, my goals for this year, for 2017. I've even gotten more serious about it. And it's one of the reasons that my, my uh, win ratio uh, and my stability with my trading has been really, really shined forth this year. So last week I was off, but this is going back seven weeks. I'm taping the webinar. You can go back and scroll back and look at all these, the winners and the losers for all the trades. And like I said, I did not do anything today. So it is it is about the consistency to do it. So last week I was off, but so far since it was since January 23rd, there's been 37 trades, 30 winners and seven losers. You've got to be able to withstand the fact that some trades will lose, but this is still great. If you are winning more than you're losing, you're making money. And you can figure that out as such. So what is it that I do when I get up in the morning? Every morning I get up and I scan for stocks that are gapping. And I look for things that are gapping down. And I look for things that are gapping down in the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. And that's the, the um, ones that I focus on. And I have a 26-point checklist. And that's what I teach in my class. And that's what you come and you learn from me. And that's the meat and potatoes of my system because it tells me every morning what stock to watch to trade. There's a bunch of things I like for tomorrow. One is GIS, one is LEN, and one is FRAN. They have not gapped yet. They haven't reported. They have earnings tomorrow morning. They all will gap. Whether they will rate good per my system to short or not, whether they will gap down or gap up, I don't know. But they're watches, okay? Here, I'll put them in the room. It's FRAN, LEN, and GIS. So I don't know what they're going to do. But one of those probably is going to be a good one gap down and probably wait well rate well because i've looked at the charts i looked at the charts today but how will i know i will get up in the morning i will apply my system i will rate the gap i get up early i do it i prepare i don't trade on a whim and i'm always taking my trades between 9 30 and 10 if the stock isn't set up till after 10 o'clock then guess what i'm not shorting it 
Because a stock, if a stock is rallying, 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 and is green on the day, and has a green body, a green candlestick, and it's rallied for 30 minutes straight and is green, the chances of it selling off in the day and going from green to red are what? Next to none, okay? So I want to see the selling action in the morning if I'm going to short the stock or vice versa. If I'm going to go long something, I want to see the buying action like actually happened today in the tip. So my 26 point rating system for gaps tells you what? What's the purpose? What's the point? To have a high probability of directional bias, the stock will follow through in the gap. To have a big move on the day, which I like to do, but I'm in and out usually very quickly. I don't often get the whole move in something, but it doesn't matter. If I've met my goal, I tend to get out. That's, again, how you chunk it out, too. Also, early confirmation of my bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, and precise entries with follow-through and a good risk-to-reward. And this is very important, too. But, you know, if you are risking $1,000 and you can make $1,000, that's real money, people. But there are many days that I make more. But you do have to have a money management, proper money management when you're trading. And if you're up your goal for the day, you know, and it starts to back up against you, you've got to take something out. If not the whole thing, at least half. So the philosophy behind my system is what? It's to look and analyze a large time frame, which is a daily chart. And that's where I get the points off of to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap. All large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders. All right, so you wanna be with those people. That's your goal, that's your goal in life, okay, as a trader. And you wanna make entry decisions and exit decisions because you have a singular account with a fixed amount of money and a fixed amount of buying power on a small time frame, which is the one minute chart. And that's where I get the high degree of focus and accuracy and also in that time period, between 9.30 and 10, I did a webinar on Saturday and I don't know, I guess there was some guy talking before me. I didn't hear the guy and he had advised people not to trade until after 10 o'clock any gaps. That, that to me was ludicrous. I didn't want to say that. I didn't want to embarrass the person in the webinar um, or de be disrespectful. But the fact is that I would never take anything it hasn't set up till after 10 o'clock but you do absolutely have to know what you're doing between 9.30 and 10. And again, it is a skill. It is a skill that you would learn and hone in on from me, and that's where you're going in and making the money. Because if I ran a fund, I wouldn't wait till 10 o'clock to sell my position and target. So if you're a trader and you're waiting till after 10, you're missing the move of the sell-off that the institution or fund people are making. Does this make sense? So the point is, if you're going to be in the market and if you're going to risk your money, then you're going to play it with the people that know what the heck they're doing that are moving the stocks. And if you don't have the gumption to do that or the wherewithal, the knowledge, and you shouldn't be taking any trades at all. And that's my opinion on it, because it's the only real way that you can make money or, or at least this kind of money if you want to make 100 grand a year or more. So I'm using the daily chart to make the decision and I'm doing it before the market opens. And then when the market opens, I'm waiting until the open to take the trade and get in. And I'm looking for, you know, accuracy. Now let's look here at the Zoom Z. So Zoom Z gapped down, rated well per the system. This was back on March 10th. This tail, the move down here was the short. Now, if you get up in the morning, you rate this one and you say, this is a good one, which I did. I said, this is a short, boom. You short it, stop, here's the drop. Here's the first target, it kept going a little bit more. Do you see the time of the day here between 9.30 and 10? Do you see the accuracy? This is what I call the money move as well. Seeing the stock, rating the gap, you get ready in the morning, boom, you do it. I also use stops, so the stop would be here. Do you see how ridiculous it would be to do anything else other than this move? If you tried to short Zoom Z later in the day, you didn't make any money, it flipped. It would make no sense for you to go long in here at any point in time. And it rarely went, it really didn't even barely go over the high of the day. The way to play this was to the downside and the selling came in right into the open. And what selling is this? This is institutional selling that pulls the stock down. And it did go to the target, okay? So price of the entry, $17.99, actually went to the second target, but this is the first move. It was basically about 50 cents. So if you have an advanced risk of $1,000, you could have taken 2,000 shares of this. How much would you have made? Boom. 900 bucks in five minutes. Again, this is the type of thing that you are looking for. 
the consistency. You get up in the morning, you rank the gap, you find Zoom Z among maybe 30 things you're looking at. Of the 30 things you're looking at, you might rate five, six, seven. Some may rate, some may not. Then you narrow it down to the highest rated one, boom, you watch it, it sets up, you take it, you get the move, you're out. And this is what you do. You do it over and over and over, and then that's it. You don't do any more trades, you don't take anything else, you don't keep keep trading. If you make $900 in five minutes, you, you, you are done, okay? You shut it down, unless maybe you're doing an option or something later on the day. This is again something that is very, very, I don't, I don't, I don't even understand like why people want to keep trading all day to four, four o'clock. I just don't get it. I mean, part of also hitting your goals, your, your money goals, okay, as a trader is understanding when to get out and when to stop. I did not understand fully this when I first, first started, but as the years went on, I did realize very quickly that the morning time was the time to trade, that I gave money back in the afternoon. I stopped trading in the afternoon and I really had to be very disciplined about that. I have no issue with that now, um, but some people that come to me are so used to trading till four, they have to get out of the habit, and it is a habit. And particularly if you don't have another job to go to or you don't have a family or anything, you can be distracted and feel like you wanna look for stuff and then everything looks good. And if you're ready at money in the morning, then you think, well, I have some, I have money to play with. No, that's the money that really you have to pay yourself and make sure that you keep. And the only way you make sure that you know that you keep it is when, you, when you're out, you stop and you're up and you get out when you're up and you don't go back in on the day, okay? And you wait for tomorrow for the next gap. So how did I determine, for example, that Zoomzy was a correct gap to short? Again, going back, common sense, just like if you were a baby and you were learning something, you do it, do it, do it, do it. And you see it every morning, just over and over and over and over and over again. So I got up, I scan, here's where I scan on my scanner in the platform and every platform has some type of scanner. It's a top 20 list. You'll get the longs and the shorts. So the bullish ones, the watches and the bearish watches here. So if you were looking for bullish gaps, you'd look at the gainers. And if you were looking for uh, shorts, like I tend to focus on, you're looking at the losers. So this gives you 40 picks, okay? Any questions here so far? <clears throat> so then I get up and Zoom Z was at night. Okay, I kind of had a feeling this might do something and then you rate it. So you can rate it in the night or you can rate it in the morning. And then here's the live day and it's see that it goes. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move. Any questions as I'm going along? Now let's look at another one here. What happened with this one? Stock closed here, boom. Again, look at the nice solid institutional sell-off, the day of the gap, the follow-through, beautiful, 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 boom. How, what do I do? I get up in the morning and I rate the gap and I determine that this is a short. If you think that this is a long, you are losing. If you wait till after 10 o'clock, you're losing. If you're trying to buy this into support, you're losing, okay? You've got to look for where the institutional trader is gonna take this sucker on the day. And how do you know? Well, that's what you come and learn from me, which is the rating system. Now, let's look at it. This is a one minute chart. Stock close to your gap down, boom. Rally, two, take it, short it. Stop over the high, drops, keeps dropping. Do, 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 do. Look at this, okay? Look at the nice, smooth move in the stock to the downward direction. Oh, John is saying a trading platform. This is not my live platform. This is Orbis. I use Orbis for charts and Sterling as the live one. So I actually have two different setups. You don't need to because if you're in the room with me, you can look at, at my charts too but I just happen to like Orbis charts to look at the candlesticks. But really, you could make any charts you know, look like this, look like mine. You can set them up the same way if you want to, or at most places. But Sterling charts do not have enough data, so I don't like their charts, but they have a fast execution system. Uh, but they're expensive, though. So if you can get something that works for you, you don't have to use exactly the same setup as me but you do have to have charts. You gotta have the shorts. I also use hotkeys. 
Some people prefer a mouse, but I don't like trading that way. I think it's too slow. Um, so you can play around with it. Pretty much any platform out there will give you a free demo for at least a week or a couple of days. Play around with it. Mess around with the charts. See if you can get them to like them. I've never used Smart Edge. In fact, I don't even know what that looks like. Um, but you can, you can send me a picture of the charts if you want or go and you know call them and ask them. See if you can get your data to go back as long as I can go back. The, one of the reasons I like Orbis is that the miniature charts, the little uh, one minutes, go back 17 days. To be honest with you, I wish they could go back more, but this is the longest I've found of any charts that I like. Certainly no, it only goes back seven days on the one minute chart, and I don't like that. So you can find out how long will they go back, can you make them look like this, do they have hotkeys, do they have the shorts, you need pre-market data, you need post-market data, okay, that kind of stuff. So I've never heard of Smart Edge actually, but you can call and ask them. Uh, where were we here? Oh, okay, TLRD. So TLRD, boom, short it, 1680, stop over 1720, you're in. Risk is what, 40 cents. You will have a different risk every single time that you take a trade. I wish I could say every trade is 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, it's not. I don't know until it sets up. Some stops are 10 cents, okay, you don't know. In this case here, it was 40 cents. Again, my risk is similar. You know, I, I, I try to do this very fast and I try to take a, a certain share size that's close enough to the whole number, but for this one here, 3,000 shares is 1,200 bucks. But you shouldn't be risking 1,000 if you were trying to hit it and only risk 500. So you gotta be close to the number. Anyways, exit 1625. Boom, $1,650 in 15 minutes. And this is not all the way down here. I just wanna show you. The stock dropped, broke 16, went to 15 something. This is just the first move. You take it, boom, you're out. Take it, boom, you're out. Take it out, boom, mm. 9, 30, 10. You could actually make a trading plan on doing every stock that I short and taking it and getting out every setup by 10 o'clock. You could just set the alarm. In fact, I should just set my alarm. It should go ding. And, and I, I don't though, because I'm watching the clock usually when I'm trading. But I could set an alarm <laughs> and get out of every trade at 10. You could, you could time yourself like that, literally. So again, going back to the idea of making 200 grand between now and the end of the year is not insane because some days you will not trade. But some days you'll make 1,600 bucks or 1,700 bucks or 1,800 bucks. You have to be able to take advanced risk if you wanna hit these numbers. If you don't, then drop it back. Drop it back, risk 300, risk 600 bucks, get good. You know, whatever your goal is, you've got plenty of time left between now and the end of the year. Like I said, 40 weeks starting next week after the class to make real money doing this if you follow what I do. And being in the room helps because I'm giving the calls. So, you know, it's just an attractive way to make money because to me the trades go very fast. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 50 minutes, you're out. I'm not waiting till after 10. I'm out by 10 most of the time. And again, you're looking for a good risk reward, which is what? One to one, two to one, three to one, any of these are good. Every once in a while, you will get something and actually that AFSI, which I didn't, I didn't trade last week, was insane. Huge, massive dream target. If you did that one, for the people that did do it without me last week, you will get things that drop and go, you know, 10 hours. And on the options trains, which I'm not going into detail tonight, very often many of them are 100% return investment or 50% return investment, and that's a great payout. I may end up calling one in TIFF, I don't know, I didn't look to see where it closed tonight. I'm gonna to be watching it, but TIFF's definitely higher. You know, you, you have to combine looking at the stock in the gap, the gap rating itself, looking at the momentum and the money and the volume that's coming into it with the gap rating. Now, how much money can you make? I get this question all the time. Again, 500 bucks a day is what? It's roughly 130 grand a year. Again, it's not January 1st, but I'm giving you some ideas here as what your expectations could be of what you wanna risk. $300 a day comes out to be what? If that's your goal, that's very reasonable too. That's still $78,000 a year. It's chunking it out. You say, well, $300 a day, Melissa, that's not that much. Really? But if you stay consistent with that, then it's almost 80 grand a year, which is more money than a lot of people make, okay? 
And even if you only wanted to do it part-time and you had small, small goals, which I do have some traders in the room that have a $100 a day goal, that's still 39 grand a year if you make $150 a day, and that is great money. If you, if you have a spouse that works, um, if you're a, a, a part-time job, if you have something else to do, I mean, that's still great money, if you're considering you're only working a half an hour a day. Let me look at the questions. Do we have any questions here? Write it in the room if you do. Now, how long does it take to learn the system? Well, it takes how long it takes. If you follow me, it's definitely a lot faster. If you just do the trades I call in the room, it's faster. You can make your money back for the class faster and hit your goals faster if you listen to me, okay? How much money do you need? This was BBY. This was a gap that happened back here in early March, this one here. This is probably on the higher end of the stocks that we trade around a $40 price point. But I'd say I trade stocks between $5 and around $65 for the most part. And every once in a while is an expensive one over $100, but not that often. So you will need buying power to be able to take the positions in the stock based on an account with leverage, which you will find out from the broker you go to. So again, $2,500, it would be a small account at a prop place 10 to 1, which would give you $25,000 in buying power. In something like this, then in BBY, you wouldn't be able to take 1,000 shares because you'd need 42,000 in buying power, but you could take 500 shares, 700 shares, okay? So it depends how much money you have in order to be able to trade the sizable positions. But if you have a small amount of money, then your goal would be to build the account up. To open it with 2,500, build it up to five. Open it with five, then build it up to 10, okay? And that's really up to you. For options, you don't, you don't have the same requirements because they're not based on buying power. It is really, really combining a, a, your dreams with reality. I had a lecture, this was two weeks ago, it's actually on YouTube, where I talked about being an optimist and being a pessimist. And, and the thing is, and then somebody wrote in the room, um, actually I think it was Galahad, he said he's an optimist but he's a realist or something. The idea of thinking positively is not that you're thinking that you're not thinking like a realist. I don't really like that word realist at all. The reality is you can create your dreams to happen, but you have to have a plan to make it happen. So the realistic part of it, the reality, quote unquote, is that you are going to take this step and that step and this step for it to happen. The problem is when people start talking about saying, well, I want to be a realist, then they tend to err on the side of being a pessimist, thinking that it's outside of the realm of reality or that they're too harsh on it or that it's too hard or the goals are unachievable, whatever those goals happen to be. The, the thing that makes someone like me so special, which, which I am a very, very, very special person if you would know me personally, which which many of you will never get to know me personally, but you will get to know me somewhat in the room if you trade with me every day and you're with me for years, is that I absolutely, very much so, not only am an optimist, but I have real goals to achieve things that I want to do in life that to many, many people would seem unrealistic, okay? And, and that's, that's not true. That's not how I look at it. Oh, that was Rumi that said that, Galahad? I thought it was you. Well, either way, I think there was a couple comments in the room that day about it. I, I taped it. It's on the tape. It's on the YouTube tape. But anyways, the idea is you have to have a plan. If, if you don't have a plan, nothing that you want to achieve, whether it seems like making 100 bucks a day or a dollar a day will, be, will happen for you. So, so if you're going to do something, I say, what the hell, you may as well do it and have a, have a great goal. I mean, that's, that's the point, people. If you're going to set out to do something, and it may as well be something that's worthwhile, because if you got to get out of bed every morning and you got to go to work every day, then you may as well do something that you can make a lot of money doing or what's the point of doing it or you may as well enjoy it. If you got to get up and you got to get out of bed and you got to go to work every day and you gotta, you got to work to pay your bills, so you may as well do something that you make good money and you may as well do something that you like. Otherwise, what's the point, okay? It's like, really, okay? And, and I think that's where I ended up being with my mortgage job. I mean, umpteen years ago when I decided to quit, I, number one, the mortgage industry was, was, was you know, falling apart. But number two, I was so tired of the hours. 
I mean, I had just had it with the amount of hours that I was working and I had had it with working with the banks and the lenders. They weren't cooperating. They didn't want to lend money to people and I was at my wit's end. So, you know, I, I still wanted to make good money and I was trying to find a career that would enable me to do that. But it really did take a plan of action. And you must have one too. Um, is there only a trading room or a chat room? It is a trading room. It is a trading room where I call the live trades. The only person's writing and the only person you hear is me talking. But right now there's, I think there's 58 people in the room since the last class. There might be 60. I have to go back and count them. I think it's 58. John asked how many people are in the room. So obviously not everyone I've taught the class to is in the room. You don't have to be. I'm telling you that it helps you, okay? So my system is called the Golden Gap System. It's a course that teaches a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. And the purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And that's what you get from the class, really. Anything that you can do to put the odds in your favor, you want to learn how to do. And one of the things I teach is a swoosh, which happened in the AFSI, and Koala Bear pointed that out. Uh, that was from the Friday's gap. And that was the one that went to the dream target. And that's something you'd learn in the class. So what do I do? I get up in the morning. I look at the checklist. Boom, boom, boom. I check it off and I tally the points. So in my class, you'd learn this checklist. That's what you'd come and you'd learn from me. And it tells you, boom, Zoom Z is a good pick. Or like today, no good picks. You'd know to trade or know not to trade. So it teaches you also how to play the stock on the daily entries like we discussed in here. And there's six different entries that I do. And they're all in the morning, one in the afternoon, which I rarely do. The course teaches students chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. And you've got to get good. I mean, I, you know, I, you really, really, the whole purpose of today's lecture was to have an 81% win ratio. You must be focused on one system. And it even helps in one direction. And you must get good at it, like riding a bike or learning to walk or learning to crawl. And it is, makes common sense because if you're doing something over and over and over and over and over, you will get good at it. And that's how you're going to get make the money. And that's how you're going to set your part and give yourself an edge in what you're doing with the market. Because I'm telling you right now, if I pulled every person I've ever talked to has come to every webinar or ever anything, it, in all these things that I do, all the people that I come in contact with are trading. All the people on my YouTube site, 99.99999% of them are doing different strategies and systems. And then they wonder why they are not successful, why they're not making money, why they can't call amazing calls like I do, like, like the market is one, because I called the market higher. And a lot of people didn't call it. Now it was easy to see. But I was saying that in 2013, four years ago. So, you know, you really have to focus. And that's part of the seriousness of it. But, but if that's, you know, if your goal is to make money, then what? why not? Okay? Then focus on it. I'm giving you the roadmap. I'm giving you the plan of action. I'm giving you the plan of action in the class. And then I'm giving the room as a support system for you to learn from me. So the Golden Gap course is a complete system to learn how to trade. And I'm teaching the class this weekend. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. The class is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, March 25th and 26th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And the cost of the class is $49.99. Sometimes people have made the cost of the class before the class in the trial. Sometimes they've made some money in the trial. Sometimes they've made the money back in the first week or the first month. It depends on how much money you're risking. I can't make any guarantees or promises of this because you have to follow what I say and you do have to learn it. And the class is 16 hours, okay? It's all day Saturday and all day Sunday and you have to focus. Now I'm offering the Wealth Manifestation course free with this class. That's coming up in April. And I'm also offering one month free in the trading room. This was me with Galahad. He was here. That's my apartment. It's a great shot of my apartment there. Um, he was here with me, mentoring with me for the whole month of February it was. 
uh, being in the trading room, you get to talk to me every day and ask me questions every day. And this is, this is important. I mean, it's really, 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 really important to have the access to me in the trading room. So you get the calls and then you get the access to me. It is possible to make money in the market, but you've got to have a consistent system. And this is where, this is where the, the pieces of the puzzle come together and you mix the, 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 your dreams with reality and you get away from this fantasy kind of thing, which many people do. It's, it's, it's funny, it's, it's like a people, traders have this extreme. You have these fantasy people out there that wanna, you know, that wanna open an account with $500 and make 200 grand a year. That's absolutely ridiculous. That is fantasy la la land, okay? And then you have people that think it's absolutely impossible to make any money at all, like 200 grand a year. Even if they've got 30 grand in, in an account, they think it's impossible to make 200. They don't believe it, they've lost for years, they don't have a good system, they think it's impossible, they have a negative, terrible attitude. Somewhere between that person and this person, fantasy and Mr. Negative, okay, is someone that has common sense, which is me, that you have a plan of action and a system to follow and you do it consistently and you don't veer off of it you stop when you're up. You don't trade when there isn't any good trades. When somebody doesn't work, you have the stop and you take the stop and you take the loss. And that will happen, as you've seen back in the ones that didn't work. And you have a plan of action to achieve your monetary goals, which is based on your risk, and you find the system being, being consistent. Okay? So the realistic part of it is you have a path to do it, and you stay on it, and you don't get off of it, and you stay focused. Um, somebody has a question here. Is the trading room open during the day or only for the first four hours? The trading room is open from 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern time if I even keep it open that long. Some days, like today, the room was only open until 10.30 because there wasn't any trades. So I will talk, I will teach, I will review the trades in the morning if we didn't, but I don't keep the room open until 11 a.m. if there's nothing else to talk or teach about. If I'm still in a trade, I may still be in it, and if it's still dropping, if it's 10, 15-ish or so, or if I give a lecture on something. But the room is open from 8.30 is when we open. I start talking anywhere between 9 and 9.30 about my picks. I write the picks in the room. I write the targets. I write the resistance. I write the support. I write the gap ratings. I write my watch list. I review what I like. I talk about the market in the morning, and then we train into the open and then I review the trades and I teach if there's time and I may not keep the room open until 11 o'clock if there's nothing to talk about but some days I do so it's not four hours even I, I, I mean I, I'm not entering really new trades after the first trade I mean it's rare I should say that if you want a week trial to the room you can email me at info at the stockswish.com you can email me tonight and I can send you a trial for this week. I think tomorrow will be a good day. One of those things I told you is gonna work in the morning. If you want a trial, here was a nice little testimonial from Chinchilla. This was his month of the February month. Does anyone have any questions for me whatsoever? We have like two minutes here. Any questions? How's everybody doing? Good. Okay. Listen, email me here if you have questions. John wants to know if I'll marry him. <laughs> Since I don't know you at all, the chances are slim, John. <laughs> I'm sure my parents would love if I would marry someone quickly as they are as they are losing hope that I will ever have children but I I haven't somehow I'll defy odds I'll defy all odds for that as well too if there ever was a person that would have a Prince Charming uh, trust me uh, it will be me because <laughs> I've waited my whole life to meet the perfect guy and I'm not settling I'm not settling for less so keep in touch, but since I don't know you, John, it's probably not you. <laughs> no, it's just me. It's all me. It's me. I'm alone. I 
run the room, I call the trades, I trade, I teach the class. I have two people working for me part-time on back-end stuff, but it is only me. There's no one else working for me anymore, and I um, found that with my clients and students, people, people want me. There isn't anyone else that can call the trades like me. Having anyone else do it was never a good idea. But this is, you know, when you create your own system, you're the best person to teach it. And when you create your own system, you're the best person to call the trades. And they're, I'm really good at calling trades in the morning quickly. And it is because of this thing that I'm talking about, about how your brain works. And for eight years doing shorts and trading on a one minute chart, it happens like, like clockwork. I don't, I don't even, when I call trades many, many days, I don't even I know the words that are coming out of my mouth. But I do it instinctually. Uh, that's that's the that's the benefit of being in the room with me. Galahad said correct. Galahad missed me last year, but I'm here to stay. All right, have a good have a good night, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. I will see some of you in the room tomorrow morning. If you would like a trial for the room, email me. And that's the scoop. Email me with questions. Email me if you'd like to sign up for the class. You have to email me for the forms. They're not on the website. And I hope you learned something. Oh. Uh, what's the charge for just going into the room without taking the training? The training is five grand. You cannot join the room without taking the Golden Gap course. You can do a trial. There's no charge for the trial. But everyone in the room that's a room member of the people in there have taken the class that's a prerequisite. So no one that's a room member hasn't done the class. You've got to know how to trade these gaps. They set up very, very quickly. So, but you can do the trial if you want to do the trial and there's no charge for that at all. And if you're committed, if you're committed to trading, you're committed to making money, then you'll spend five grand. If you're not committed to spending five grand, then you're not committed to, to, the, to the path to make it to be successful. And so it's, you know, you, you know, I'm challenging people. You want to do it, then you do it. And you're full on. It's no half-assing it. All right, Kathy's going to kick me out now. <laughs> All right, have a good night, everyone. Email me if you have any more questions. Thanks. Okie doke. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for your time and your participation. We especially want to thank our host, presenter, Melissa Armo. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time and your participation here today. Have a great day trading tomorrow.